Hello kids, my name is Fumi and you're welcome to another lesson. It's always so wonderful to learn more about God through these amazing Bible stories. And I'm really excited about today's lesson. It's called The Little Army. Well, before we start, let's say a quick prayer. So go ahead and bow your heads, close your eyes, hands together, and let's talk to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us so much. We're grateful that each one of us is special to you and you have a plan for us. Help us to always trust you and to always obey. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The memory verse for our lesson today is from Judges 7, verse 7. And it says, With Gideon's 300 men, God saved Israel. Judges 7, verse 7. Let's do that together again. Judges 7, verse 7. With Gideon's 300 men, God saved Israel. Judges 7, verse 7. Good job. Remember to practice, practice, practice. Yes. And when you're ready, you can send a recording of you reciting the memory verse to the church's WhatsApp number. Okay, let's dive into our story. The Little Army. The Midianites were very mean. They had many soldiers. The soldiers took everything away from God's people. The Lord called a man named Gideon to fight the Midianites. Gideon and his soldiers were ready. But God had a different plan. God said to Gideon, you have too many men. Some soldiers are afraid. Tell them to go home. Gideon obeyed the Lord. He said to his soldiers, if you are afraid, then go back to your families. Most of Gideon's army went home. Now Gideon's army was small and the Midianite army was very big. This was part of God's plan. Then God said to Gideon, you still have too many soldiers. Tell your men to drink some water. If the soldiers drink right from the stream, send them home. If the soldiers drink from their hands, then they can stay. Gideon obeyed the Lord. Only a few soldiers drank from their hands. Gideon sent everyone else home. Now Gideon's army was very, very small and the Midianite army was very, very big. This was part of God's plan. One night, Gideon's soldiers were sleeping. Wake up! Gideon shouted, it's time to fight. Gideon gave each soldier a trumpet. I have my trumpet here made out of paper, a fiery torch, and an empty jar. But no one could see the fiery torches yet. They were hidden inside the jars. So just like this, they were hidden. God told me what to do, Gideon told them. Everyone, follow me. Do just what I do. Gideon was very quiet. Shh. Gideon's soldiers were very quiet too. Gideon tiptoed toward the place where the mean soldiers were sleeping. Gideon's small army tiptoed too. The mean soldiers were fast asleep. Then Gideon blew his trumpet. Burr, burr, burr. And his little army blew their trumpets too. Burr, burr, burr. The noise woke up the mean soldiers. 
What should we do? They looked about, they cried, and they were confused. The huge Midianite army was afraid. Gideon broke his jar, so he grabbed his jar of his torch and he smashed it on the floor. And his soldiers did the same thing. Now the light from the fiery torches shone bright. The main Midianite soldiers heard the jars break. They saw the bright light. They thought Gideon's tiny army was huge. Then Gideon shouted as loud as he could. All Gideon's soldiers shouted too. For the Lord and for Gideon! Burn! Help! The Midianite army yelled. They were confused. They didn't know what to do. They started running around and around. They started fighting each other. That night, Gideon's small army defeated the huge Midianite army. God worked out his plan. Everyone knew that the Lord helped Gideon and his soldiers win the battle. What an exciting story that was. They had 300 men and the Midianite army had a huge number of soldiers. We don't even know how many they were. They were uncountable. <laughs> but Gideon's army won because God was with them. And Gideon obeyed every single instruction that God gave him. Even though Gideon couldn't see exactly how they were going to win with torches and trumpets, not weapons of war, but he trusted God and he did everything that God asked him to do each step of the way. And the same thing, the same thing goes for Gideon's soldiers. Gideon was their leader and they listened to what he said and they did everything even if they may not have understood why. Are you sometimes given an instruction by a teacher or your parents and you don't know why they're asking you to do what, what they, they, they've asked you to do. I'm sure that's probably happened before. Well, your parents know best. Just like God knew best, he knew exactly what was going to happen, even though Gideon and the soldiers couldn't see the full picture yet. But they obeyed. So this story teaches us that we should obey obey your parents, obey your teachers, because God instructs us, not just through Bible stories like this one, but also through our teachers and our parents. Just imagine if your parents had a surprise road trip that you were going to take early the next morning. And this night, they're telling you to go to bed one hour earlier. And you're just confused. But we, I always go to bed at nine. Why should I go to bed at eight now? Well, if you obey, the next morning you will understand why they told you to go to bed earlier. Because you won't be drowsy and so you'll be able to enjoy your early road trip. So that same way, God has a great plan for us. All we have to do is trust, just like Gideon did, and obey. I want us to end our lesson with a song called I Am In The Lord's Army. But before we do that, let's practice our memory verse one more time. Do you remember what it is? It's Judges 7 verse 7. With Gideon's 300 men, God saved Israel. Judges 7, verse 7. Good job. So keep practicing and try your best to memorize the memory verses. Okay, let's do our song now. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom o'er the enemy, but I am in the Lord's army. 
I am in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I am in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom or the enemy, but I am in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed today's lesson and I hope it's a good reminder to always be obedient. Sometimes even when we don't understand why we are being instructed to do certain things. I will see you all in our next lesson. Bye. Slapstick Theater, Gideon's 300 Men. This is Gideon, hey. who was a judge of Israel. In the time when Gideon lived, a group of people called the Midianites were taking over the Israelites' land. Get out of here! And the Israelites were starving. Yeah. So the Israelites asked God for help. God chose Gideon to rescue the Israelites and gave him the power to lead an army of Israelites. One day, Gideon and his army got up early and came close to the Midianite camp. God told Gideon that he had too many warriors with him. So God told Gideon to let all the men who were scared go home. All right, uh, you can go home. Phew. So 22,000 men went home, and Gideon was left with only 10,000. But God told Gideon that he still had too many men with him. Uh, what, really? He told Gideon to bring the men down to the water and that God would give them a test. Okay. Gideon did as God asked, and then God said, divide the men in two groups. In one group, Put all those who cup water in their hands and lap it up with their tongues like dogs. In the other group, put those who kneel down and drink with their mouths in the stream. Only 300 men drank from their hands. God told Gideon, with these 300 men, I will rescue you and give you victory over the Midianites. Send all the others home. So Gideon did as God said. You can go home. That night, God told Gideon to get up and go down to the camp to listen to what the Midianites were saying. Hey, Pura, let's go! Gideon and his servant Pura went down to the camp and saw the huge army. There were too many men and camels for Gideon to even count. Oh, that's a lot of camels. But Gideon heard a soldier telling another man about a dream he had that showed them that God would give Gideon victory over the Midianites. When Gideon heard this, he worshipped God. Come on! Then Gideon and his army of 300 men went down to the Midianite camp. They blew their horns and held torches in their hands. They yelled out and the Midianite soldiers rushed around in a panic and tried to escape. Then God caused the Midianites to start fighting against each other. Because of God's power, Gideon and his army had victory over the Midianites that day. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Artillery. I may never zoom for the enemy, but I